Hey everyone, today we're doing a simple modification to our Xtool P2 50 watt laser. The original exhaust hose that comes with this laser is rather flimsy and thin and ours is split twice now and is beyond repair. I originally ordered a new 2.5 inch hose, or the exhaust port is more like 3 inches in diameter and that's hard to find a hose that size. I took advantage of the situation and ordered a 3D printed 4 inch exhaust port so I could increase the airflow out of the laser while using a standard 4 inch exhaust hose. So join us as we make this quick improvement to our Xtool P2 laser. Today we are going to be showing you how to fix a broken hose and replace it with this big new one. Bye! Today we're going to be showing you how to, how to fix and get ready for a new house that isn't broken. Today we're going to be showing you how to get ready to, to fix um, a broken house. So we just got four screws. this one to do after we take all the screws off we're going to replace that one and put this one down that's right and that will hold a four inch hose like all the other hoses that daddy uses in the workshop currently the one that broke is smaller yeah much smaller and you know what it'll do what you know how the smoke is in the laser machine and we, we suck mm -hmm. it out with the yeah. big vacuum mm -hmm. it'll come out even faster with a bigger hose but we still need the fan in there, right? Yep. The fan blows the smoke out and the vacuum Takes sucks it, it out all the way out of the garage. The fan. I'm going to hold the difference up real quick. Do you guys see how one's bigger and one's smaller? One will suck quicker and, and, and more air out. Which is the big one. It will do more stuff than the little one will. Yeah. The black and, the black and red wire helps us, like, it's kind of like powering up the fan for when we use the layer to, like, for when we use the laser to, like, kind of, like, so the hose sucks up all of the smoke. That's right, it is. The red and white, I keep saying white, the red and black wire Coming out of that hole, you gotta be careful with that. Make sure it goes back in that hole. Correctly. Correctly. Or else it won't work and we can't use the light at all. Right. We're gonna attach the big one. We're gonna replace the small one with the big one. And we're gonna get a bigger hose, just like the rest of them in our, in our garage. And because this one's broken, so it kind of, so we can't use this one anymore and we have to get a bigger one so that it works better and so that, um, and so that it matches the rest of the hose in the garage. This gets a little tricky to get these holes lined up. But once so it goes in. I think it's perfect. Factor. I think it is too bad. And as you guys can see, I made my own tablet. <laughs> so right now we're kind of like putting the bigger like attachment to the hose and replacing it and we're gonna like put that like up, up against the fan and get a new hose so that way we can keep using the layer and so that way we can keep using the laser and you guys can watch more of our videos. And when I grow up, I'm going to be a YouTuber just like what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be a YouTuber. Yay, YouTuber. <laughs> doing good work, man. So these screws are a little tricky to line up. We just got to be patient, but they're working, aren't they? I think we got three in now. Yep, we just have one more left. If you guys, that might, might, might seem quicker 
but but you've got to take your time when you're doing stuff in your in the garage because you never know if you'll get hurt or not. That's a very good safety tip, babe. So if you guys are ever wanting to wash, just forget about that and try to take your time so everything works out and you don't get hurt because there's a lot of stuff you could get hurt with when you're doing like when you're doing stuff with like wood because there could be slivers, you could get hurt by a nail. There's a lot of stuff you, you have to be careful about when you're when you're using stuff in the garage. Especially with the laser. That's right. One, two. And we bring our dog in the garage with us and she just lays wherever she wants. She lays somewhere where she won't get in her way and I always try to lay on her because I love her so much. Her name's Rosie and she's a little girl. She's um, three years old and she weighs 104 pounds. And to make this a bit funner, sometimes it's, sometimes to make this, there. to make garage work a bit funner, you can add, you can like sing music or play music on your phone while you're doing it, just to make it a bit funner and make it seem like it's going by quicker when it actually isn't. Okay? What? We just finished attaching this and tomorrow we're gonna show you more of our video like where we like like we replaced this hose with a new hose and all of that can i start talking about the end yeah if you want to watch more of our videos just subscribe here on the madison creations bye what's the hose do the hose takes all the air out of the laser and sucks it out of the garage so we don't have to breathe it or smell it. Or I could go in there and use it as a slide. Possibly, but then you'd be in there with all the smoke and other funny smells. And how would I get out? And you'd be trapped. Oh so, yeah, that would not be a good idea. And how would I even get Look in that. there? That's it. So, today we all finish this all woodworking video it may be quicker than the west but it's still good to watch it if you want to watch more of our videos subscribe here on the Madison creations and if and if you need to rewind something <coughs> just move it back and forth good job well, that's it for this video. The simple modification to the X-Tool P2 is certainly worth it. The stock exhaust was not terrible to begin with, but it is much improved with the 4-inch hose connected, and it also allows for the use of a much higher quality hose than the stock one that came with the X-Tool. As always, there are affiliate links below to help you learn more about where I purchased this upgraded exhaust outlet. Thank you for watching, and thank you for allowing my daughter to narrate this video as she was very excited and actually came up with her own impromptu scripts. Please like, subscribe, and ask any questions in the comments below. Now get out in your shop and get creative.